and gentlemen, my name is Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you are watching Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Balls. Now, in the last episode, after much difficulty, trials, and tribulations, we finally managed to kill Sendai. Meaning that now our next stop is going to be Abazigal, I think that's how you pronounce it. That is the worst name ever for marketing, by the way. I'm going to have to recommend to this guy he gets a better person to do his marketing because he needs a decent face name if he's going to take over because that one, no one can pronounce it right, seriously. Anyways, we're going to be stopping over there to kill him next. And that'll be it for our ball spawn problem. But in between episodes, I have done a couple of things. We'll pause the game so I don't get any random pop-up conversations or anything. Anyways, in between, we've done a couple of things. I sold basically all of my excess loot from being in Sendai's lair, for one thing. Which got us a good deal more money. I've also made some equipment changes. Which I'll just go over what everybody's wielding, just so you have an idea. And we upgraded a few of my items with Sespinar. So I spent, I think, 20, 30,000 gold maybe making upgrades with him. Something like that. Which means I still have more money than the last time you saw this, because I sold a bunch of shit. Which I'm pretty sure at least covered that cost. Anyways, we upgraded Taralash, the bow that Nalia used to be wielding before we took her out of the party for Seraphok, which, you know, I'm seriously considering putting Nalia back in the party just because I like her more than Seraphok. No joke. Anyways, we upgraded that bow to plus five with Sespinar. I also upgraded my fire sword to plus five. And we swapped out that old sword we were using for the Answerer, which is just objectively better than what we had before. And has some nifty special abilities in that it lowers our target's magic resistance for four rounds whenever we hit. And each hit we make with them gives them an armor class debuff of two for four rounds. So that's a lot better than the old one. Which one did either less or the same amount of damage. And two only increased our charisma. Not very useful as a weapon. That's the upgrades we've made there. I've also dropped a bunch of the items I wasn't going to be able to use for various reasons. <clears throat> the short version for all of them is that they were upgrade things for items that I did not actually possess anymore and had sold off. Actually, we'll drop all these elements through psychologies while we're at it because those are just flavor text, I'm pretty sure. And besides, we're leaving them laying around hell here so I can just pick them up if need be. Minsk, I've given Montalio's cloak. That's that item from Drizzet or whatever that we got incomplete. I happened to find the piece to complete it, and Sespinar did that for us. Oh, Minsk now has an armor class plus one, and saving throws plus one cloak. <clears throat> the Thaco offhand thing's not very useful for him, because we have Minsk wielding a single weapon here. In his war blade. Jahira, oh, I forgot one thing. I took Tovi's shadow armor off him and gave him the studded leather of thorns, which 
it's just a better type of armor. And it also damages any enemy that hits us. Very nice. And what we did instead was, I gave Toby's old Shadow Dragon scale armor to Jahira. So she's now actually wearing armor. She's been going for basically the entire series without armor. So I'm sure she's happy about that. here. Airy, I don't remember if we gave Airy anything in particular. But that's what she's got on right now. No, I don't think we gave Airy any upgrades. With M1, I upgraded the short sword of mask to a plus five. And she's got that as her backup weapon. On the off chance we need her in melee range, which probably won't happen, she has a very nifty short sword to help out with that. In addition to our Quiver of Plenty plus two that she's been toting for a while now. This Grandmaster's armor here is going to get sold at some point, by the way. It's pretty much worthless to us at this point. It's worse than the armors of everyone who wears armor on our team. Saravok didn't get any upgrades. Oh yeah, that's right. I do remember what I gave Aerie now. This cloak of mirroring, which is what Minsk used to be wearing for his cloak, I swapped it to Airy. So, she now has a cloak, she didn't before, that deflects all spell damage. That's what we did as far as upgrades, and like I said, our inventories are fairly empty at this point as well. And I'll just give you another quick look at the spells of our spellcasters, just so you have an idea of what we're running. The low-level stuff doesn't really matter. I mean, we're still running with the spell setup that I had from our fight with Sendai as well. But before we go off to fight Abzagal, a new challenge is unlocked in our Hell Pop Kit dimension and I'm going to go and check that out. There's after this two more challenges to go. And what do you mean? that's going to come after some of our next to kill the baddie things that we have to do. So based on the fact that there's two more challenges, I think we can say with a fair degree of certainty that there is at least one more ball spawn to go after Abzagal is finished. So as you will. we're not out of the woods just yet as far as ball spawn killing is, go is concerned. We're going to have another one to deal with. But let's see what this is. I am a part of you that you have forgotten, Toby. I am a piece of you that you have set aside. Wait, what? The fuck is this? It was I that grew up in Candlekeep, unaware of my heritage, unaware of the base evil that lurked in my soul. I left my home long ago with bright eyes to face the world. I am your innocence, Toby. <sighs> I need not be lost forever. You need not drive me from your heart, Toby. Your struggle against the taint of our father has eroded me, but I am not gone yet. And still reclaim me. 
Reclaim my innocence. And how do you propose I do that? This plane is an extension of yourself, as am I. You have a need to address your dwindling innocence. And so you have brought me forth. What you decide here has power, though not all decisions are conscious ones. Were you to restore me, it would be so. It would be an innocent anew, just as the day you left Candlekeep so long ago. The horror of recent events would be forever behind you. Okay, so to talk of restoring my innocence is all well and good, but not everything we've experienced since we left Candlekeep has been all doom and gloom. Some of it, despite all the murder and carnage and death, we have actually rather enjoyed. And if we were to go back and give up our good experiences, knowledge and power we've gained. Airy. Fuck no. What about that? Go on. They must all be sacrificed so that the clock may be turned back, or that I may be reclaimed. Do you not understand? No, I do not. Why does my innocence matter so much? I mean, I doubt there's that many actually innocent people out in the world. Plus, like I said, we've had some good experiences out here without our innocence. Why would I want to give that up? Do you wish to keep fighting the same endless battle against the nature you were born with? Think for a moment at how much you have changed since that faithful day in Candlekeep. You have killed many, bathed yourself in blood, and the darker portions of your soul have come forth whether you have liked it or not. Do you not believe this will only continue? Let us return to a time when such trials did not have to be. Reclaim me, Toby. Cast off your tribulations and let us be born anew. <sighs> no. As tempting as it might have been to Toby at some point in the past, we've seen too much experience too much to really want to go back to the way things were before we set out from Candle Keep. There's no going back to what has already passed. What you offer is no answer. Not really. I see. So there's no room for innocence in the heart of an immortal. Such is as it was meant to be. And with innocence dead, the path to what, uh, to that which is immortal within you lies one step closer. Face it, if you dare. Yes. Oh look, it's the Slayer. Kill it. Kill it with swords. Uh. Yourself killed in the process, please. Yes. Your servant awaits.
Okay, let's try this again. I let myself get a little reckless before and died. Let's not do that this time. Yes. This time, I think we've got this. Why did I do it right? Toby, would you care to run away? Let the rest of the group handle it? You're a bit beat up after all. There we go. That did it. And Imoen has leveled. After we all gained 25k expa. Two of the others will probably be leveling soon as well. Some saving throw reductions and a single hit point. Yeah, the one that's an awful roll. And lore. Okay, now what do I want to give you? Well, Let's go for energy blades. I want to get the actual spells and abilities here. Rather than just extra spells, I think. Is something that I want more. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Okay. There we go. Now, rest off Toby's minor injuries, oh, yes. and head back into the world. Just as I thought. So, that was a very interesting experience, having to literally uh, kill our own innocents. Bit corny and cheesy, perhaps, but it's an interesting way to do things. Now off to Abby's lair. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Abby from now on, just because that's a name I can actually pronounce, and for no other reason than that. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Who dare disturbs Draconis? More pestering emissaries from the cloistered monastery. Surely the last batch did not return. Balthazar would have learned his lesson. Nope. No. I see I am wrong. You are not brothers of the tattooed one. I smell the taint of Baal on you. Stand aside, Draconis. This is the only warning you're going to get. This is between me and Absigal. So out of my way. My father warned you, me of you, Toby, the ballspawn kin who would steal his destiny, and my birthright. Your father? Are you Abzigal's son, then? As if a mere half-elf were even worthy of having an immortal's essence flowing through their veins. My kind are the only creatures deserving a ball's taint. Well, I can sense this is only going to end in violence, so let's get on with it. You cannot stop this. The Lord of Murder shall rise again, and I shall prove myself worthy to a Vasca by bathing in your tainted blood. Yeah, yeah. Just die. What do you want? Gotcha. And... Because I am a paranoid son of a bitch, I am going to open with a load of summoning. I'll help however I can. Get as many creatures as we can out here to help us win this fight. Even if it is one-on-one, -on -one, we've gotten our ass killed. If 
by not taking one-on-one -on -one fights seriously in the past, I do? and I don't want to do that again. Okay, summon again. Ice storm. Something you need. Stomping time. Lovely. Attacking Saravok while time is frozen. Is that not a little bit cheap? Bro, is that not a little bit cheap? You point, I point. Now everyone go for him. Airy. Cast chant. Jahira cast Bless. Guess on M1 it'll affect us all anyways. Then... Just cast Fireball, M1. Just cast Fireball. Now get him. Come on. The hell it doesn't. Okay. Harry. Speak of mine. Oh, it might be M1 that has this spell. Hold on a second. One of my people should have a protection from evil spell that's over a radius. That's an on one person. I can find it. I guess we're not doing that summoning. Yep. I can't protect 
us from evil. A chance, on the other hand, wouldn't go amiss. This weapon has no effect. This weapon has no effect. Actually, fuck it. Just cancel the magic in one. This weapon has no effect. This weapon has no effect. What can I do? Ability purge. True seal. This weapon has no effect. Oh. Name. M1? Pierce Shield. I await your move. Jahira. Call down lightning. This is you are one. <laughs> Okay, nearly there. Do you think I can be the Jesus so easy? More evidence of your species inferiority. Witness the future, Toby. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Fuck. Fuck. A dragon. Why is it always a damn dragon? Yes. Hmm? Okay. Airy. Okay. Where is that spell at? Draw upon holy might. Yeah. Might as well give you a buff. And willing. And Emmaline. Cast Dragon's Breath. Yes. Yes. Jahira. Let's see here. Storm of Vengeance. All of the Storm of Vengeance. What do this you motherfucker. Wish? Nice. Something you two do that. Something up? Now. Immowen. Summon an Afriti. You need something? Time to move? My weapon does nothing! Toby. Drink a damn potion. This weapon has no effect. Something you need, as you will. Motherfucker. I have. Justice! Oh, 
could you smell? Sarabok stands ready. I need to make it a sword. This one is in I could use some help. Every hamster has his day. What can I do? Was quite the nasty fight. <clears throat> quite nasty indeed. Yes. Let's see. Bracers and his head. Check. Airy, darling. Can't I do these for me? Okay. Yes, quite nasty indeed. Apologies for the lack of commentary, but it just got to the point where I was really focusing on winning the fight rather than anything else.
So I needed all my attention on that and couldn't really spare any for making insightful commentary. Even saying, I am doing a thing, I am doing another thing, etc, etc. Now let's just kill these and we can move on. Straight game, we are not in combat. Come on. This is not combat. Don't be stupid. Thank you. There. Much better. But now, we definitely need to stop it here, because... This episode has been going for over 40 minutes now. Unedited time, of course. The edited one is probably going to be a little shorter, because I'll cut out some of the untimely deaths during that Draconis fight, because there were a few. There were definitely a few. In any case, I am gonna stop it here. So, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you've been watching... Baldur's Gate Throne of Ball. I hope you've enjoyed this. And we'll pick it up next time with traversing further into Obstacle's Lair. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to continue on calling him Abby from now on. It's easier. Consider me Abby Boy's marketing team, I guess. We'll just have to kill him because his marketing is so awful. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See you then, folks. See you then.